forward escape the fold this is actually now like the third video i've recorded for this i streamed it a bunch on stream uh and then i recorded a local uh version um so i could put it make put up for for breakfast episode uh and for some reason the way that it interfaces with the uh with the video card it does not pick up uh whenever you do uh, a shadow play capture and maybe maybe it's just a weird setting or something but i recorded a whole episode and uh the only thing that was moving was the mouse <laughs> It was really bizarre. So I was not at all upset that I had to come back here and play some more because this is one of my favorites. Um, uh, kill time when you're taking a poop kind of games. <laughs> so as you can see, I've already unlocked a lot of things here. I uh, will actually just to let you know, like all this is locked when you first start. Uh, yeah, the tutorial the tutorial is actually really easy. I'm gonna walk you through most of the tutorial stuff and also show you some other fun things. Uh, there's classic mode, challenge mode, expert mode, and journey. I've been playing on expert mode a lot as well and doing pretty well there. Uh, we'll probably go classic just to like, show you more stuff because expert gets pretty pretty harrowing. Uh, challenges is pretty dope because challenges just basically gives you like a bunch of different things that will modify and stuff that you could play through as uh, I've, I finished one the healing poison use a poison to trigger many effects uh, and it's really cool the way like every there's always like um, some kind of synergy or something that you could create uh, using like a very vari variations of cards and, and perks and uh, or pickups or whatever uh, and then there's journey mode to say set up your games to reach the end of the journey it's more of like a custom mode right you could set up and it actually it's pretty deep uh, you go through and you customize a ton of things to make it incredibly difficult like 64 this is like insane like there's no way uh, we tried it and it's just like yeah it's completely impossible they say anything in the red is basically impossible uh, but you could adjust everything accordingly you can make the game super crazy easy if you like to by dragging everything back there we go whoop 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 and whoop there we go and it's like stupid so you go everyone's got like one health uh so yeah completely customizable experience there but we're gonna go with classic we have a number of characters i have unlocked and i guess i have three more that i have to find the way that i've been finding them is by uh you know i'll, I'll use this character and i'll find this character and i'll use this character and i'll find this character and so on and so forth so let's go ahead and start with the uh with the starting character here and we'll give you guys kind of a quick run through just what you start with my apple uh heals you for six hp when starting a level so that is that is a trigger right it heals me by blank when when you start a level so what you do is you find another item that says whenever blank happens trigger your starting level perks or whatever uh and that and this would trigger at that time so this is this is the way the game kind of lays itself out it has all these trigger points and then you could kind of intertwine those things to make cool things happen so we're gonna go ahead and start here and then we'll talk a little bit about the UI and everything. Uh, bottom left corner, uh, this is your, your character card. It's going to come to the board here in a second. But oh, it's going to say, yep, your soul will be extinguished. I can see it. Yep, so it's not always about the soul. They're going to eat my soul or they're going to destroy me, whatever. Uh, this is my life, my health, 14 out of 14. My armor is 0, 0. Your mana is 0 out of 5. Your skull is 0. Your gold coin is 0. And your items is 1. Most of this information exists right here on the card. Your health is right here. If I pick up some armor, it'll also show up here. If I walk into this poison, it'll show up right here on the card. You can click on your health or your sorry your your card and see your inventory. You click right here and you can see how much mana you need or what your sorry what your spell does. Uh, it inflicts two two damage to visible enemies. If you don't know what an enemy is, you can click on it. And it's going to tell you what an enemy is. <laughs> so it's a really well like thought out, well laid out design, accessible for people who are new to the genre because everything's clickable and everything's demonstrated for you. Uh, let's go ahead and move. Uh, we're going to move straight up. Look at this card. Look at these three cards here. Each one of them has an arrow pointing down. Once I move to this position, then I've triggered this guy's. Uh, I aggroed this character and it's going to attack me. So move here. It attacks me. You can see that I took a little bit of a hit there. And I also have two poison. Every step that I take for the next two turns is going to take away one health. Another health there. I'll pick up this armor here. This guy's going to hit me. I'm going to have one armor left. Um, I'm going to move up. Get, the, get those coins. That guy's going to hit me. And I'm going to have like six or seven or something. Yeah, seven health. Uh, so this is where we're going to go through. And oh, what he gave me? He gave me a powerless. So this is cool. I cannot use my power. Basically, it's a mute. That's a mute, so my power is locked out. We're gonna grab that, we'll grab a four, we'll grab some mana, uh, we'll grab some, th we'll grab three coins, and then we'll grab this cursed chest. Cursed chest is gonna have nothing but a cursed items. Cursed items also have a benefit outside of, you know, they have a benefit, but also like a downside too. Uh, I see it deals one damage to you when you move directly ahead. Okay, well, that's. that's not really a benefit at all. <laughs> Ruse two potion cards in all future levels, uh, and then the field of vision is reduced. So. <clears throat> You want to choose one that's probably going to do the least amount of long-term damage to you um, because this can be used as a trigger again when you pick up a card that says uh, do X whenever you have Y 
uh, amount of of, uh, of corrupted cards are based off of why corrupted cards you have in your inventory. So you could collect them, a ton of them, and as long as they're not hindering your overall gameplay, you could use them to your advantage. So let's see, your field of vision is reduced. Let's not use that because we're, we're still kind of in demonstration mode here. Uh, I see four damage coming in or one health. Uh, I'm about to fight this guy anyways. So I might as well go ahead and get in his face and not take the health. So we'll go ahead and take that. Then I can get the three coins, cool, and then a health here, and then a shield right before we meet the, uh, the the eyeball thing. And then we're gonna grab that heart, which increases your total health by one. And I have three items here available to me. One of them is a blue, a rare card. So it says there, broken orb gives you uh, uh, let's see, uh, protection greed. Oh, get protection greed and sell times four when you pick up a corrupted item. So you see already, if I got a corrupt, if I got that corrupted curse uh, chest in the middle of the run or with this card enabled then I would have you know a protection greed and stealth for four that's huge that's that's a long time lemon uh, you get greed times three when starting a level uh, and greed times three just basically means you get more money whenever you pick up a money card and the protective plants uh, whenever you no longer poison you gain two armor durability so if you're someone that walks through poison a lot because maybe it triggers something else and this is beneficial because after the poison wears off you get two durability to your armor so it's pretty good lots and lots of different ways you can play I mean like a lot of different ways you could play tavern in sight here we go going to the store I got 15 gold cards Cards, uh, or, or sorry, 15 gold coins. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Take the mana. Go ahead and get my uh, uh, my spell ready to go. The haunted mansion. Whoa! Devour your dreams and your soul. God, they're going for the soul and the dreams. Whoo! Uh, let me see. Uh, there's a mimic here. It does not open up into a chest that you can actually use. So we're gonna try to avoid it, or should we just try to fight it? Let me see. Da, 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 da. We can avoid it. Get some uh, get some health here. Get some get some. There we go. Eat that guy. No problem. Uh, I see a merchant chest. We're gonna skip it, obviously. <laughs> so we're all the way over here now. Cannot move laterally, but some characters can. Side to side is pretty dope. Uh, most characters, most all characters, can only move, uh, uh, you know, diagonally and up. Curse chest. Here we go. So this is gonna give us our greed and everything. Monster skull. Add three enemy cards in all future levels. Uh, heart cards not give you plus four HP max, um, but all future items you get you encounter will be corrupted. This could be an interesting card. Let's do that. See, now we have our four stealth, four protection, four greed. So we can just cruise through some of this stuff. Well, because this is normal mode, none of these characters are, are attacking diagonally. Uh, in, in, hard, in hard mode or expert mode, every other character attacks diagonally. So you don't get these long straightaways where it's like, sure, yeah, let's go through here and pick all this stuff. No problem. Oh, he can't see me. That's right. Maybe a good opportunity to try this. Two damage, two damage to visible enemies. We hit that. Boom. Now he's down to 10, uh, I said 8 rather, was he at 10? Um, now, <clears throat> his health is also his damage, that's the way it works for enemy cards. So he only does 8 damage there. See, when you use your power, you inflict 2 damage to all invisible enemies and receive blindness times 3. That's pretty dope compared to uh, uh, when accompanied with this spell that I currently have because it also does damage to enemies. So basically that's going to be 4 damage to enemies and you can stack this thing over time. So that's pretty cool. Bone shield, get one skull after being attacked by an enemy. Uh, and chests give you three gold coins. So let's go ahead and take that. Now our spell is getting pretty good. Full health or a heart. Well, remember, heart gives us plus four now, right? There we go. That's huge. I will devour you. He did not specify soul, though. So maybe we're, maybe we're safe there. Uh, for merchant chests, we have some money. 18 gold to be exact. So we can buy some things. Monster Tail, add four poison cards at all levels. So another corrupt card. Uh, your field of vision is reduced. Another corrupt card. Uh, the purchase of uh, purchase price of cards is, is increased by eight gold. Damn, no, 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 no. Let me see. You know what? Let's let's go hard on this. Let me see. We're in normal mode, so we should be all right. Let me see. Purchase price of cards. Eight. We have eight. Eight. We could cruise through most of the level, basically stealth. See protection. Uh, now let's go this way. We'll grab this. Yeah, we're blind now, right? We can't see any. That's gonna be like that for the rest of the run. Um, we could snap this guy, but not that guy, and keep moving. It's hard to plan when you can't see you know more than a couple ahead of you here. All right, now I'm gonna get attacked. Let's go attack this guy. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, I'm gonna get double attacked here. There we go. And then here, and then uh, take this bad guy. Devour me. Mostly devour my armor, and look at that, another four. Ooh, it inflicts one damage to you after each, oh yeah, 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 after my power is ready. Yeah, 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 your field of vision is reduced. Can I get reduced even further? Is that possible? I don't want to risk that. <laughs> Let's take it, I get my boost. Death is coming to get me. Let me see. Yep, yep, yep. This is tough. We're still invisible. It's gonna tippy toe. 
Let's we'll fight this guy. Do you have anything good? You have a sword! Swords are great! You pick them up and they do damage to everything in the area. Ching! Look at that. Uh, I need some mana though. I need to get my, my spells going. Mm hmm. I'll take you. See, it's every visible enemy, which kind of sucks because there's a lot of visible enemies that are not visible. Oh, here we go. So, this should do good work. This should probably, this probably, probably has like one health left. Basically, did nothing. There's a sword here. It's going to do some damage to somebody. Uh, there's nobody in the area. It's <laughs> good. Chess of the dead. Probably going to get ourselves another, um, yeah, another curse. Wow. A lot of curses. <laughs> here you see poison times two and blindness times two when starting the level. I add three poison cards on all future levels. Add two poison cards on all future levels. Okay, look, we'll take the one on the left. Um, <clears throat> and we'll take the one here in the middle. You know why? Because poison cards you can flip and have them be beneficial to you or have them trigger starting uh, abilities. So poison cards could actually be to our benefit if we find the right card or perk or pickup or whatever. All right, so let's go move into the space here. Right now, it's just trash. Right now, it sucks. <laughs> Let's see. What do we get here? Ooh, evil orb. The value of shields does not increase with the level progression. Oh, God. Your field of vision is reduced again. Uh, you don't get a reward at the end of all future levels. Man, they're punishing. Punishing. New achievement unlocked. Oh, cool. I got achievement blind. Play with a very small field of vision. Oh, cool. I was going for that. Let's go grab that, too. I want to grab this also. This is going to be a short run. Look at all this. Look at all this. Look at all this. Greedy. Man, I'm unlocking all these achievements. Excellent. That was the that was the goal. I can't see what's right in front of me. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm invisible, basically forever. Uh, yeah, all these are corrupted. Uh, <laughs> receive removes two blood, two potion cards from all. Uh, you don't get a reward at the end of future levels. Jeez, sure, why not? Why not? Steam sword. Ooh, new new card. Uh, when you receive blindness, you inflict two damage to all visible enemies. See another one. Oh, there's visible enemies though. <laughs> <laughs> when you get stealth, gain three gold coins. Unfortunately, yeah. So I got all this stuff, which is great because I unlocked all these achievements. Probably got a lot of points. Um, a lot of uh, points to put towards my scoreboard score. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I can't afford any of this stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's a purple. Is that three enemy cards? Nah. I can't see shit. So that pretty much negates my spell. So I'm basically going to be tiptoeing around. Die. Yes, I know. Uh, I wonder if I can bring it back even further. I'm just guessing where I'm jumping each turn. Like literally every turn. Let me see you money I mean I'm, I'm yeah I feel like I'm gonna be able to cruise through this with so many I uh, see <laughs> slap give me that shield it's lightweight usually more yeah um I don't know when I'm supposed to use that <laughs> oh here we go perfect more gold, shields. Okay, now I'm no longer invisible. No shield here. Oh, poison. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I couldn't even see the enemy. What the hell? <laughs> so as you can see, like I said, there there is a lot of of uh, 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 changes to even the core game like functions because of all the different mods and everything. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Well, let's get a poison card. We'll get attacked by something invisible. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even get to see what it is. Uh, there's no point in picking up mana pots anymore. Let's focus on getting health and uh, armor whenever we see it. Uh, let's look at that. No point in picking that up. God damn. Oh my god. <laughs> I did this to myself. I did this to myself. I did this to myself. Oh jeez. Uh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, a chest of the dead. We could have got yet another poison or another corrupted card. Jeez, guys. We're doing so well, too. Oh, God. What can I get here? Oh, a heart. Yes, I'll take it. What are these? Uh, deal one damage when you move directly ahead. <laughs> I lose four potion cards. Oh, man. We're not going to take that one, though. We're not the one to take those damage. We move directly ahead. That's silly. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, I'm stacking so much poison. Oh no! Three, three, can I just survive this? No! Oh good, because I was getting really dumb. <laughs> oh, how's my best score so far? 40% <laughs> of my achievements unlocked. Let's go to expert mode, huh? <laughs> we'll take out another character for a spin. This is my one of my favorites here. It does get pretty dumb though over time. Let's take a look at her inventory. So agility boots, you can move horizontally in dungeon levels. Now anyone can find this, I think, right? It's just a card. You can just find it, but I've never seen it 
for any other character. So I don't know if it's something that drops for anybody. Monster Skull had three enemy cards in all future levels. Uh, let's see. Broken Bone, the purchase of price, price of cards is increased by eight gold coins. So these are necessary because uh, these... This character can move side to side, which means they can pick up a ton of money and a ton of resources and everything. So they have to be nerfed in some capacity. And I've already beat the game a couple times, I think, with this, even with Fade, even on um, uh, even on this difficulty mode. Uh, let's see. Kill all no nearby non-boss enemies and receive poison times two for each. That could be beneficial in the long run. The other one will basically sap health from nearby characters that give it to you. Uh, so we're going to take this one because I think we have to use it when we're near someone. No, I don't think we use it, we use it anywhere. And then we can find something that where poison is good. <laughs> poison good, as we're looking for. Rawr! Oh man, there you go. One, yep. And now here's where we can start doing some cleaning, right? So we could go, start here, we'll take that hit. Notice that the enemies can now move diagonally. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, hard mode, baby. Curse! So I already have, what, two? Two curse items? One, two. I already two curse items, so we're looking for... I mean, we, we're obviously going to grab another curse one, uh, but we're looking for something that benefits from cursed items. Let's see. Monster Eye. Enemy attacks. You get poison. Deal one damage. You move directly ahead. Uh, add two poison cards off each level. See? Poison. Just poison, poison, poison. And we're just going to cross our fingers and hope that we get what we're looking for. Uh, let's see. Two coins. Move up. Let's see. Here we go. I take a hit there. And then, let me see, I'm gonna take a hit from this guy no matter what, so I could choose if I want to go, let's go here, and then move to the right. So right, up, then over, see, this is why, this is why everything costs more for this character. It's just too easy to, to rack up stuff. Uh, four, and then one, four, we take four, that negates that, we can take the two, that negates the one, we got one benefit, net benefit there. Uh, we take this, I know, I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on a second, do I have enough? Yeah, I do, oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We'll take that heart. Let's see. Black Helm, we receive protection times one after being attacked by an enemy. Scroll, increase the chance of rare legendary items appearing, or when you lose all of your armor points, you get stealth times two. That's a pretty dope card. But the Black Helmet, though, is purple. So. <laughs> it's also a good card. <laughs> the Glittering Chest. Ooh. Ooh, an oil lamp. You're immune to blindness. Okay, that might be really beneficial. Because so many cards are like, that does this, but also makes you blind. Like the nut card. Who'd have thunk? Uh, let's see, four, net gain of one. And then, oh, hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. I want to make sure I swoop in and get all these. So we'll go you, you, and then you. I guess we just go to, it's sideways. <laughs> uh, gold bar, never seen this. Add one gold cards to all future levels. Night feather, heart cards now give you plus four HP max, but all future items you encounter will be corrupted. See, see, this is what I'm talking about, man. Plus four health max is amazing. Let's do the gold bar, though. Mm -hmm. Then we'll walk around. We'll grab all these up. There's a carrot. What's a carrot do? It gives plus one to healing potion, minus one to shield cards. Um, No, I need the shield. My health is really low. It's a cool card and all, but that guy's going to attack diagonally. This is uh, kill all nearby bots that receive plus poison times two from each. Uh, one, two, three. So that's six poison I would encounter. That's a lot. But is that going to be more than the damage I'm taking? Look, there's nine damage that's coming in. So I might as well go ahead and use it. Oh, oh, nearby. Like nearby, nearby? Oh, shit. Like how nearby are we talking? Because <laughs> I don't have any choice but to take a hit here. Okay. I'm willing to bet it's going to be um, diagonally and, and side by side, which sucks. So <laughs> it's much harder to navigate with. Uh, yeah, yeah. Damn it. With a character that, what an expert mode where the characters can, uh, enemies can attack diagonally. And another one. I need to get, I need to get, I need some more, yeah, thank you. I need some more of everything here. I wish I had a stealth. Stealth would be perfect for this character right now. Look at this guy. I mean, it doesn't matter where I go, I'm gonna get attacked. Oh, the one that, well, no, it's, yeah, I guess moving straight up is probably the plan here. Uh, oh, a sword that will at least reduce the amount of damage I'm gonna take from this next chump. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Now from here, I can kill, I mean, yeah, these two guys, but that's not, well, that might give me some, uh, uh, see, 4-2, it might give me, oh, you know what, though? I could cruise right up through here. Yeah, there's no point in killing them. Because I could just go over, yeah, damn, hmm, maybe it's not that good of a, uh, of an ability. We'll take you. We'll go up here, we'll eat that, and we'll move across and get all of these. We'll move, uh, let me see, five. That's five coming out. I'll take the two poison, I think. 
mana potion. Let's see, shields. Um, dang, I'm getting really low on everything. It looks like I go up. I'll take the hit there. It's still a net gain of one. And then I take this. And then we'll take this. And then here we go. Poison dagger. Oh, here we go. Let's see what that says. That says all poison cards also inflict three damage to nearby enemies. See? <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Uh, the boss will always be a healing potion card. Now let's get this. Dark Forest. I will devour you. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm really disappointed. Yeah, I, I forgot that you have to be like right next to these guys in order for it to make, ha make it happen. We need a stealth card. Anyways, let's see. God, three? I'm not going to take three to give everybody... Oh, that's a lot of guys in the field here. Yeah, it might be worth it. I'm going to take a hit from these guys right away. So let's do this. Kills one. That guy can't move. Um, one damage. One, three. We can grab this one. Two... Here we go. Hmm. If I take poison damage, let's try this. Okay, it's just okay. I was wondering if it would trigger, like, I pick up a poison card. There's a golden chest over there. Uh, let's go ahead and maneuver our way that direction. Let's see what we can pick up here. To contract, we gain three gold, co three gold coins when starting a level. Poison armor, all poison cards also give you two armor durability. See, and this is basically just, uh, this is a great card, but not for what we need right now. When you attack an enemy, deals equal damage to the one behind them. That's great. But again, we, we're trying to we're trying to build up a meta here. We're trying to build this up so that way we can uh, do some work. Wow, look what's coming up here. Holy shit. So we have uh, two, five, and uh, nine. And then we have eight here. Oh, plus this one here. So it's 11 going on the left side. Yeah, we're going to go to the right side. We'll go to the right side. Actually, we could even cut that out a little bit. Oh, hmm, two and then two. Oh, two minus two. Okay, either way, it's kind of like the same net. Yeah. Let me grab this. Let me grab this. Mm-hmm. I'm really low on a lot of things now. A lot, a lot. I mean, I got a lot of money. But you know. <laughs> yeah. Just give me some armor. It attacks my health. Ouch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder if I run up, if I get a bunch, I'll see one, two, three. I'll die before I get there, actually. No, I can't do that. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna survive. Just barely, though. I need another thing that, that mitigates the amount of, of, uh, of poison damage that it does. You could make it like minus one poison damage to all cards. Let's see. Uh, protection types three is starting a level. You gain three gold coins when you start a level and grants plus one healing potions and poison cards. Yeah, see? No, that's not gonna help us. Hmm protection I need something let's see what do we got here oh I can only afford one thing oh this will actually double it'll stack so that's four armor it sucks that it takes oh god did that actually take damage <laughs> just moving takes damage uh, am I gonna die my next move no okay good uh, but I'm in a weird way here let me see there's a five coming up that's a lot of armor laying around here I want that health. I think I need that health, right? Let me see. Three, nine. Oh, that guy's gonna hit. Oh, that guy's gonna attack me no matter what. There's a merchant chest up there. I could uh, let me grab these, and then since I gotta fight that guy anyways, I'll go up here. I'll grab this. Oh, no way. A broken shield. Come on. Oh, that sucks. Um, let me think. What can I do here? Broken shield sucks because it will. It'll. It'll destroy my actual shield. The minus, the four minus the three, or three minus the four. Uh, I'm in a weird way here. If I grab this, then I'll poison. They can do damage. I'll take one hit right away. I'll give me another three, three. It'll be one health. If he doesn't drop a health card, I'm kind of screwed. I could poison myself now, but it's going to. We'll kill even those. Let me see. Oh man, that's gonna be lackluster. Ooh, but I still, I still came out with a net gain, I guess. So I'm good. Question mark? <laughs> uh, except for the poison part. Yeah, that part's gonna be rough. Let me see if I can get over here before I die. Can you get something? Healing roots. Your next poison card will pick up will not apply poison. Oh, that doesn't help me. <laughs> get one skull attack an enemy, and when starting a level, you gain one armor durability for each corrupt item in your inventory. I don't have a lot. Corrupt, 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 corrupt. Yeah, we should do that. 
And then what's the next poison card? Yeah, okay, for sure. That might actually help us out, actually. Get one skull after being attacked by an enemy. So skulls are great, and you can stack them, and you get a whole lot of... You can uh, use them for powers, or use them for um, um, store pur purchases. So let's go and get that. Um, am I going to die in this next? No, 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 no. If I, if I take this, and then... I think we poison can't kill you, it looks like. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That that not that not taking damage to the next poison card actually really helped. <laughs> mm hmm. And then three five. It's net loss. Although it's a it's a health gain, which is kind of what I kind of want. I'm losing so much damn health. This is better. I wonder if I should... Nah, let's go right for the boss. Oh, I thought we were at the boss time. Uh, let me see, three shield, three shield there. Uh, at this point, I think it might be beneficial to go ahead and... Oh, I can't. <laughs> I was going to say I was going to take... Oh, five! I was going to take the hit. But still, if it's going to give that to me, that's good. Mm-hmm. Should I just grab like the poison poison, just get like hella armor and go up there and fight the boss, right? I mean, it does that much damage it does to everybody else. See? It makes everybody else hella weak, but what's stacking like mad for me? I <laughs> uh, see. Kill Okay, just gotta try, try to try it at least. Another broken bone, get that health. Uh, let's see. Reduce the cost power. Okay, reduce the cost. See, reduce the starting level and then a broken bone again. No, okay. Uh, reduce the cost. Yeah, let's take that. The mana ring. See, the best price is Blacksmith. Got some stuff here. We see a Poison Hammer. Poison cards consume all of your skulls and inflict as much damage as enemies as possible. Uh, you receive Poison times 2 and Blind times 2 when starting a level. And when starting a level, you gain one armor durability for each corrupted item in your inventory. Again. Again. So that's 2. So when I start this, I should get like a fat amount of, of armor. Because I think that's 2 of those, right? 16. One second. Am I not counting right? Evil Shield. Only one durability for each corrupted How many corrupted items have I got? I feel like I got a few. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, I can click on all of it. Oh, crap times three. Thank you. Okay, so oh, that makes sense. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, I'm still poisoned, though. <laughs> we'll take this. We'll take you. We'll go up. We'll go over. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, that's dirty. That's heckin' dirty. Oh, I could have poisoned myself, though. Shit. Next time. Because <laughs> I was next to an enemy, so I could have. I could have poisoned, for sure. <laughs> Protection. Let's take this. And then we're gonna go ahead and move this, and then I'm not worried. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not stressed. Now this this is where we probably could use this to yeah 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 like that. Take a small hit here. Go coins. Get some of the health. Yes, more health. More of this. More of this. Um, let me see Fort. Uh, I don't really need all that health, but man, all these enemies here, I could do some work if I get through them. Four coins. Let's see what else we got. Three coins. Okay, that wasn't really worth it. <laughs> see, mana. Okay, so two mana. That'll at least get us back up. Now it's available to us again. Mana, mana. Oh, doo, doo, doo. Uh, should I just pick up all these? I feel like I'm just gaining. It's just net gain. It's just like armor, 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 armor. And then we find a health pot. It's like, bam, fixed. Armor, more armor, more armor. Just keep on, keep on piling up on the health. Look at this chest. What we got in the chest? Let's see. Divine meats. Get random status, positive or negative, after being attacked by an enemy. Ooh. Yes, yeah, get a random status. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now from here, we're gonna attack everybody. There we go. Ooh. Let's see. Health. That's a lot of dudes to fight on the left and the right hand side. I have a lot of poison, um, and a lot of armor. Let's do it. Let's just do it. And then, let me see, it's four armor there, and one mana. We could still grab this and cross over. Oh, now I'm, now I'm like, greed was a greed protection and powerless. Boy, I'm everything. I have so many, so many debuffs. <laughs> Bam, healing root. Next poison card, you pick it up, apply poison ruby. Gold coin cards have 20% chance to heal by one HP. That's pretty dope. All healing cards. 
Uh, and healing potion cards cure you of blindness. I have a blind problem right now because I'm immune to blind, I believe. And you know, you play so many runs of this and you start getting everything kind of mixed up. Right now, I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm still pretty sharp. Got some cold brew in me. Whoa! Look at all this! And this is the best part about being these characters. I can just pick them all up. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes! I'll pick up the poison too. Boy, I'll pick them all up. Doesn't bother me. New achievement unlocked. What is that one? Just like a rock. Protection times 20 or more. Man, I'm unlocking all the achieves today. What's happening? What's happening? I'm invisible too. Damn, I'm invisible. Go pick up all the poison. See, I love this. This is exactly what I was talking about. You want to get to the point where you can just pick up poisons or whatever. Whatever. Doesn't be poison. It be anything. And it just benefits you. Like any negative uh, card. Yeah, like this. Like normally you'd be like, oh my god, there's so much poison. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I got 60. <laughs> Me too. Bring it. I don't want to take full advantage of it though. I'm kind of worried I might uh, overcommit. What do we have here? Another curse. Oh no. Let's see. Remove four potion cards for each level. Demonic dagger. You receive poison times two and blindness times two when starting a level. And inflicts five damage to you when you're starting a level. Okay, let's grab this one. We have to really stay on top of getting all this health though, because you know. <laughs> Thankfully, it seems like poison can't necessarily kill you, or maybe we haven't pushed it that far. I'm not quite sure. 69. Nice. Too late. Take you. You oh, chest of the dead. That should be fun. I'm invisible. I keep forgetting. I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab this chest of the dead. A maze, as long as you have protection, gives minus three to bosses. Oh, <laughs> that seems way overpowered right now. When you see blindness, you inflict two damage to all visible enemies. I'm immune to blindness. I wonder if that'll actually work. We'll grab this and we might as well go and grab that too. Mm hmm Bring it, bring it. Uh, we'll go straight up. Mm hmm Oh, I'll crush you. Oh, yeah, dude. Sure. Sure. See, a golden skull. When you receive skulls, you receive gold coins instead. No, we want to keep the skulls. You receive immunity times three and starting a level, which would be pretty dope because I have other things that will do negative things to me. Right? So when you attack an enemy, uh, deal two damages to all other visible enemies. Okay, that also is pretty cool. Actually, we'll take that one instead. Gold armor! You gain two armor durability prior to an enemy attack. That's a good one. Unlock for future runs. Because I keep on unlocking stuff. I'm just all these chiefs and everything. I can't believe... You guys are witnessing one of the greatest runs of all time right now. I hope you guys know this. You finally meet! Will you get to me? Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be there in just a second. Give me a minute. I'm just fucking hoovering up all this stuff. If I attack this guy, everybody else takes damage! I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'll grab the potion. I'll grab this. I don't need my stupid skill anymore. It's basically completely useless. Grab you, negate some of that. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, no, 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 no. Invisible. <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's go use our spell here. Pew! Oh. Mm hmm. Couple of hits there. Yep. This is insanity. This is insanity. But you know, you get broken ass builds like this sometimes, especially with this character. I feel like it happens more often with this character than anything else. I have a hundred! I just broke a hundred! <laughs> now they're taking it away from me. Uh, you? Yeah. The other poison here. We'll go and grab that one, two, 96, 100! Oh, it's gone again. It's gone again. I've never had a hundred. This should be achievement for that. Probably not because they know how broken that shit is. You know, somebody like me has gone through and figured out. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Chomp Chomp. Mm, let me see. It does two damage to everybody. I pick this up. Hold on. Let me see. You. And then... <laughs> Just clear things out. Clear it out. 108. How about more? More! More! 116. This is the boss. Oh, it's one of the... It's, it's, it's the first phase of the boss. Not quite the end. Yeah, wow. Wow, guy. Let's see. As long as you have stealth, because minus one enemy cards does not apply to bosses. That's pretty cool. Gold coins have a chance to heal you. And then this one, receive five gold coins and blindness times three when starting a level. Again, it's not going to affect me because I'm immune to blind. But also, I don't need gold coins. I have 121. I need merchant chests. As long as you have stealth, enemy cards. Let's do that one. I feel like I do have stealth pretty often now. I'm not even paying attention because I'm just driving. I'm just driving, I'm just cruising, autopilot. And when you lose greed, if you uh, you trigger your power if possible, uh, it improves the effect of greed by three and receive immunity times three and starting a level. It does not stack. I think I already have one of these, don't I? Oh no, I think it would tell me a flicker or something if I had uh, had it already. But see, I have all this money. Ew. 
if possible. 69 coins. Nice. Freedom with the demon dead. Oh, he's back. Oh, no. He's back for another phase. Uh, let's see. It's a net gain one. There's a merchant card right there. Look at that. Merchant chest. Let's do it. What do we got? Because I have lots of money. Increase the chance that enemies lose a mana potion card. Removes four potion cards for future levels. And heals you completely when you pick up a corrupted item. Um, I should just get another po a corrupted card. And this one. And this one. <laughs> yep. And we're going to grab that. I want a sword. Oh, that's going to be hilarious. Chop, chop. Grab this. Let me see. Oil lamp. Ooh. Gold coins. Uh, one mana point. Invisibility coins come, won't attack you if you have no armor durability. <laughs> I'm immune to blindness again. Whoa, will it stack? Right? I already have one. Yeah. No, it doesn't stack. Uh, we'll grab this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Attack. Everybody dies. Sword. Everybody dies. Keep the health up. Mm-hmm. Mm, no, that's net loss. I'm trying to keep it over a hundred. <laughs> trying to keep it over a hundred. <laughs> stupid. So stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to maintain over a hundred uh, damage mitigation. Yeah. Oh, look at ten. I'll get out of here. So what? All right. So look at this. I'm invisible now. I'm invisible. Now, if I attack this little weakling here, everyone's gonna take hits. And if I hit this again, everyone takes hits. Uh, let's see, seven or eight. Let's grab this. Don't start moving up. Attack you. No broken shields for me, please. Oh, it's a cursed chest over there. We could get yeah another cursed item. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna give me this third one. I was like, oh shit, did I go through all of them? Let's see, life shield when you receive armor uh, heals you instead. Uh, let's see. When an enemy attacks you, you have 20% of fucking blindness and deals one damage to you when you move directly ahead. Let's get this one. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Because, I don't know. Because we're all at the end, basically. It doesn't really matter. Oh, shit! It just wiped out my armor completely! Oh, no! <laughs> it seriously wiped out my armor! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! I still won though, it's fine. I still won. Oh, I almost ate it right at the end though. I've been pissed. This is expert mode, guys. <laughs> Personal best rank number 29 in the world. Oh man, I'm the best. <laughs> oh, number 29. Let's go to scores. You can see my score over here. Expert mode. Uh, yeah, rank number 29. You go down the list, you can see this much. It'll be all close. I might have number 28. Let me see. Uh, okay, 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 okay. That's a pretty good run. Now you get you get a lot of points for like killing things. So if I went through and I had to focus on killing everything instead of going past them like I was, I probably would have got a hell of a lot more points. So that was a mistake on my part. But also we would have been here all day because it's a long time to go back and forth and back and forth. But that's for it. Escape the Fold. They do plan on bringing this to iOS uh, and, uh, and probably Android, I guess. But they said mobile. So uh, something to look forward to. Really, really good. A quick game. I mean, it can be a quick game unless you do. You know, unless you're me. In which case, you go all the way to the end every time. <laughs> Hey, 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 thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I uh, hope you guys still enjoy watching these for breakfast videos because I really re enjoy recording them and finding all these new games. Uh, but until the next one, my name is Mike BAK, Phony Games Club Forward, Escape the Void, currently available on Steam for $9.99. I will see you guys later. Bye.